G'day all you beautiful people. Now today, straight into it, 10 of Australia's best python. Now this is going off of how beautiful they look, a little bit of cultural significance, as well as just some really cool facts about them. So this is my opinion, and I've tried to not go to my favourite snakes, I've tried to mix it up a little bit. So let's get straight in with number 10, the water python. These are Australia's most aquatic pythons, living in and around the waterways of Northern Australia and New Guinea. They prey on a large variety of animals, including small crocs, birds, flying foxes, and other small mammals. They even eat other snakes. These guys are also in the same genus as olive pythons and the Savu python. They max out around three meters, and these guys are also an extremely culturally significant snake, as it's believed that this is the species that was the inspiration for the rainbow serpent in the Aboriginal Dreamtime, which was said to have created the mountains and the waterways of Australia. They gain this rainbow appearance through their beautiful iridescent scales that appear rainbow in the sun. Straight on to number 9, the Stimpsons python. Of course, these belong to the smallest group of pythons in the world, being in the genus Antaresia. It has recently been discovered that these guys are actually the same species as the children's python, Antaresia childreni, but they do have slightly different patternings, so I'm including them as a different locality in this list. Stimpsons pythons have the largest range of any Australian python, being found all through central Australia and over to the western coast. Straight on to number eight, the scrub python. These big fellas are Australia's largest species of snake and the third longest in the world behind the reticulated python and the green anaconda. Though they don't get as heavy as Burmese pythons, maxing out at around 25 kilos, they can reach an astonishing eight meters with some reports of snakes over eight and a half meters. Found throughout the tropical rainforest of far north Queensland and Papua New Guinea, as well as Indonesia, they eat prey items as large as juvenile kangaroos. Number seven, the rough-scaled python. These blokes are one of the rarest python species in Australia, but have become more prevalent in the hobby over the last couple of years here in Australia. Each of their scales has a ridge along its centre, giving them a rough feel, hence their name rough-scaled. These guys also have one of the smallest ranges of any Australian python, being restricted to the monsoonal rainforest in the far north western Kimberley region of Western Australia. They have possibly the longest teeth of any snake, particularly in relation to their relatively small size. This is likely an adaptation to help them penetrate the thick fur or feathers of their intended prey while hunting. Due to so few specimens being found, it's difficult to conclusively say how large they can grow, but no captive animals have ever been recorded over two meters. Straight on to number six, the Centralian carpet python, also known as Brettles carpet python. These guys have one of the most beautiful orange colorations I've ever seen in snakes. These guys live on rocky outcroppings in their relatively small range in central Australia, not far from the McDonald ranges in the Northern Territory. They were named in honour of conservationist Joe Breddle, who is, of course, the father of the wonderful barefoot bushman, Rob Breddle. These guys grow to an average of two metres, but have a much larger girth than most pythons, making them extremely impressive snakes. Number five, the Woma python. These guys are by far my favourite snake. Not only do they look beautiful, but they're also super duper interesting. They're one of two species in the genus Aspidites, along with the black-headed python, and these are the only two species of python in the world that don't have heat-sensing pits on their lower jaw. This is because in the wild they primarily prey on other reptiles who don't give off a heat signature. They also have a shovel-like nose to bury into the desert sand. Sadly, this species is endangered in their natural habitat. Habitat losses reduce their available food, and feral cats and foxes are killing many of the young snakes. Reintroduction efforts have also failed due to a, a high predation from king brown snakes, their natural predator. They max out at around two and a half meters. Number four, the diamond python. If the woma is my favorite snake, then these guys are a close second. These guys are a subspecies of the carpet python that is found all along the east coast of Australia with six other subspecies. These beauties are found in the coastal areas of New South Wales and they can range in form from gorgeous high yellow animals to darker animals from the colder southern parts of their range. These arboreal snakes feed primarily on possums, rodents, birds and bats. They are also often found in suburban areas, chilling out in people's roofs. All right, getting to the pointy end now. Number three, we have the green tree python. Everyone knows this absolute gem of a snake found in the eastern rainforest of the Cape York Peninsula in Australia, as well as Papua New Guinea. These tree dwelling snakes are absolutely stunning. They use their incredible camouflage to stalk their ground dwelling prey, positioning themselves just above the forest floor. When young, they have a yellow or red coloration, but undergo an ontogenic color change as they mature, turning into their emerald adult colors. The greatest threat to these gorgeous snakes is habitat destruction, coming from a very small pocket of forests. Coming in at number two, the southern white-lipped python. I was unsure if I should include this species as an Australian snake, but I think it's justifiable. The southern white-lipped python is found in southern Papua New Guinea and the Torres Strait Islands. Most of the Torres Strait Islands are considered part of Queensland and hence are Australian. 
The Australian government also considers this species to be a native snake species, and so we can legally own them here in Australia, which is absolutely awesome. I should also mention that the scientific name I gave was from the Australian government because there were many conflicting articles as to which species of white lip python was actually endemic to the Torres Strait Islands. These beauties have a striking white lip, which is starkly contrasting to their dark body. They, like the water pythons, have iridescent scales that shine rainbow in the sunlight. Due to coming from a vastly understudied area of the world, there is not a huge amount of certainty around the number or distribution of the species of white-lip pythons in the world. And finally, coming in at the big number one, the Owen Pelly python. Possibly the rarest species of python in the world, these awesome fellas come from a very small range in Western Arnhem Land. They shelter in cracks and caves of broken sandstone escarpments and gorges. They have an estimated mature population of less than 10,000 individuals. Through a captive breeding program set up by herpetologist Gavin Bedford, there is a strong chance for this beautiful species to be brought back from the brink of extinction. It is also thought that these snakes may have played a role as inspiration for the rainbow serpent along with the water python. Similar to the rough scale python, it is difficult to determine how large these snakes can actually grow. However, there is a captive female that is over five meters in length. Due to their beautiful colorations, as well as some of that cultural significance with the Aboriginal dream time, and the fact that us herpers think that these guys are the absolute epitome of Australian herpticulture, I just had to give these guys the big number one. So let me know, do you guys agree with me? What would your top 10 be? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, see ya.